So in these circumstances, you would follow sim similar protocols of calling triple zero. <laughs> I cannot speak. Uh. Hello and welcome to Simple Social Sister. My name is Rochelle and in this week's segment of My Life, My Experience, I'm going to be talking about Food Allergy Week and more specifically how food allergies have impacted me and also ways that you can help someone um, with food allergies and also just give you a little bit more information about it if you don't know a lot about it. But before I begin, I just want to remind you all I am not a medical professional, as you can tell. So a lot of this information just pertains to me and my experiences of things that have happened to me and how I've handled them. There will be links down below for where you guys can get more information about what to do in these circumstances. Um, and they've also got a lot more detailed medical profession information. As I said, I'm just stating my experiences with specific situations. So if you feel that your um, case is really severe, please seek a medical, medical professional and talk to someone about it um, to get it checked out. But if you want me to answer any sort of simple questions or you just want to talk to someone about it, please feel free to inbox me throughout all my social media handles which you can find in the description box as well as at the end of this video. So let's get started. So I guess the first place to start is what exactly is a food allergy? So it's pretty much when your immune system releases large amount of chemicals throughout your body when you have consumed something that your body is saying is bad for you. So in turn it will release a large amount of chemicals into your body that will in turn give you a variety of different reactions like itchiness or um, your throat closing up and this is called allergic reactions. Now allergic reactions can vary from being really mild to completely life-threatening and this just really depends on person to person and as well as the type of food that you have consumed because everyone all has different reactions to things and they also have different severities to it as well. So in these situations if you don't know what's going on I think it's always just best to call triple zero. So call an ambulance because it's better to be safe in these situations. Well personally I am allergic to nuts so yes I cannot eat peanut butter and I cannot eat Ferrero Rocher's which I know everyone says is amazing but I am constantly aware of that. I am usually pretty good in knowing when I have a reaction because my tongue tends to tingle and my chummy, my, uh, my chummy, and my stomach tends to churn. I can sort of feel it from anything between 20 minutes to an hour but usually it's a lot quicker than that because I am aware of how my body reacts to specific sort of foods. Especially if you're anaphylactic, um, you will have a much quicker reaction. So being an anaphylactic when you have an allergic reaction is definitely a life-threatening thing. This is because it tends to affect more than one body system. It tends to affect everything. So um, your chest will tighten up, um, your airways will shorten, so that way you can't get a lot of um, air to your lungs, your skin will get itchy, your eyes will tend to puff and swell. There's a whole sort of variety of different things that can happen. Again, it varies from person to person, but it's just a lot more of a quicker, extremer um, circumstance. Of course, this is when you should absolutely call triple O. So call for an ambulance because this is definitely a life-threatening situation for you or this person that is happening to. And the thing I can pretty much stress is tell someone. Tell the people that you're going out to eat with. Tell the people that um, you hang around with on a daily basis. What sort of like allergies and things that you're allergic to. Um, that way they can just look after you a little bit better when you know if you're going through this situation and you don't have a lot of time to tell this person what's going on. Your friends can sort of say oh yeah I remember Rochelle's got um, allergies to this 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 this. Maybe this is what's happening now. So it's sort of like a process of elimination um, and they can figure out what's wrong with you a lot quicker. It also helps that the more people that are aware with your situation, the more they're willing to help. Now of course allergic reactions aren't only specific to food, um, you can also have them to certain plants or um, animals or like bee stings as well as specific medications. So in these protocols you would follow sort of the similar rules of 
calling triple zero, I'm calling for an ambulance. But the focus of this week is food allergies, so I'm going to be looking at that more in depth. Now, I guess the biggest question that you want to know is, what do I do in an immediate emergency? I forgot to get my best friend. I'm back with my best friend. Okay. So people who have allergies, especially if they're anaphylactic, tend to be more aware of this and are more precautious. So they carry this little guy. This little guy is their best friend. And it's also my best friend too. This is just pretty much a really quick adrenaline shot that will get the reaction out of your system. It'll open up your airways so that you can breathe and it's just basically a quick remedy for when something really really bad happens. I'm not going to demonstrate or go through the whole process of how to use it just because um, that's a little bit beyond my depth but there will be links below that you guys can read and see that teach you how to use it um, as well as for most of the other information that I'm talking about today. All the links will be down in the description box so head on over there after you guys have seen this video. We've established calling the ambulance and using the EpiPen in dire situations is what you should do. But I've sort of figured out sort of little home remedies that I tend to use when I know I'm going through the earliest stages of an allergic reaction and I know it hasn't gotten that bad. The best way I think is to flush the food out of your system. So we're gonna get a little bit TMI, but it'll be okay. Um, it's all for the sake of safety and number one would be taking antihistamines this is pretty much just the mini version of your EpiPen. I tend to use Phenagon and it pretty much alleviates all the short-term bodily reactions to the food that you're eating sometimes it doesn't work which is why you will have to resort to the EpiPen I haven't gone to that dire extreme circumstance of using an EpiPen yet but I have used Phenagon multiple times and that tends to help aid me. Not completely, but it tends to help me. Which is why I lead into the TMI number two, puking. As I said, the best thing you do is flush the food out of your system. Always, always feel a lot better once the food is out of my system. I just think that this is the best way to do it. And as gross as it sounds, it just helps to take the food out. I just personally think that it makes me feel better and it's better that it's out of your system rather than the inside of your system. So now that we've gone through all the extremities of having an allergic reaction and all the TMIs, um, I'm going to be talking about ways that you can sort of prevent having an allergic reaction. Personally, I think there are three things that I tend to resort to um, in these situations. So number one is read labels. I know this can be time consuming, but I personally do this all the time, especially when I try out a new food. Living in Australia, it's always good that I think that we have strict food labeling policies in that, especially if when you look at food, I think I s they tend to have a lot of labels that say this food was processed with machines that use let's say nuts or gluten or um, soy for example so I think they're really really good in maintaining that over information number two is ask before you eat anything um, this is another simple one but it's also um, quite time consuming but again it's better to be safe than sorry I know that at times they do tend to say the ingredients next to the dish that you're ordering but um, sometimes they may cook certain things with um, nut oil, for example, or they may garnish things with nuts if you're specifically allergic to nuts. These are just a lot of the um, things that I've come across. Luckily, I have always said to the waiter or to the waitress, I'm allergic to this, 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 this. Um, can you please make sure that this specific dish does not have anything? And they tend to be fine with that. And number three is cross-contamination. So it depends on the severity of your allergies, but the example that I can think of is deep frying um, fish and then also deep frying um, chips. So if you're allergic to fish, um, when you go out to eat, I know they do tend to, when you go to like fish shops and things like that, they do tend to use the same sort of oil um, deep fryer for the same things just because it's less time consuming, um, which I completely understand. Just 
remember things like that. Some people also really prone to having really severe allergies down to the smell of things. I very luckily do not have this, but I do tend to get turned off by the smell of like, peanut butter or Nutella. Yes, all the jokes can start about how I've never tried the best tasting spread in the world. But fun fact, that's actually how I knew, um, or well, how my parents found out that I was allergic to nuts. When I was a kid, I had Nutella and I had quite a lot of Nutella as you do because apparently it is very, very good. And um, I was rushed to hospital for that incident. <laughs> so that's it for this week. Remember guys, I am not a medical professional, so everything I have said um, in this video is all pertaining to me and information I have found all throughout the internet. There are links down below for more information that if you guys want to find out about anything that I've spoken about in this video. So I hope you guys have found this video interesting and very very informative and different to what I usually do. If you're also wanting to talk to someone about your um, allergies, please seek a medical professional and if not, touch me up all throughout my Twitter handles all throughout here or in the description box you can find me and you can contact me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!